No, we're just going to keep preparing and go out there and do the best we can. Coach, you look up and down this uh, road here, a daunting task, I guess, from here on out. Uh, I guess it's pretty obvious, but mm -hmm. challenging. Yep, you know, we, we uh, there, there are no uh, easy breaks in the Pac-12, so every week you gotta, you gotta bring it. We're somewhat highly emotional in Saturday's game. Mm -hmm. How is the team sort of rallying from Saturday? Uh, you know, I'm not gonna speak about the team. I'll let you ask those guys because every time I say something, it's, you know, construed in a different manner. So I'll let them tell you how they feel or how they're rallying. Uh, we're just going to keep preparing for Stanford. How about yourself? How do you feel coming off that emotional loss? Uh, ready to get back on it. That's the good thing about not having to buy. You get another opportunity instead of having to sit out a week. Mm -hmm. How do you guys defend this offense? Well, you have to stop the run first. That's, I think, the misnomer with having Andrew Luck. You think you have to go in there stopping the pass. If you don't uh, stop their run, look out. They're a power running team, and they're a very physical team. Uh, they want it to be a street fight. Uh, and I don't think uh, people out that, that don't go against them or don't really watch them don't realize that. But it's a street fight when you play them. So if you don't have that mindset, they're going to run you out of the stadium. He, he'll throw four passes. You, you have to. <laughs> Stop the run and make them try to be balanced. And then when he's throwing it, you got to do a good job of tackling and containing their tight ends. Uh, they they make big plays down the field. You have to uh, um, make sure that they can't just hit you quickly. I mean, you watch the UCLA game. I think third quarter, their opening drive. All of a sudden, it was two plays, touchdown. They open the game, 16 plays, 99 yards. They can do it both. So. You have to be uh, good tackling. You have to get pressure on them when it's when it presents itself, and then you you have to stop them running power. Do you see any changes at all between Harbaugh and this system? Or is it basically no, it, it seems to be the same. You know, it seems to be the same. I I, I think uh, David probably didn't get as much credit as he deserved for what he did when Harbaugh was there. You know, his his fingerprints were on it, and those guys had a great relationship. They they think the same way. So uh, it's just continuing on. Have, have you spoken or will you speak with your son and get his view on the uh, I spoke with him just to tell him happy birthday. And uh, no, I don't ask him his opinion on. No. <laughs> John, is Stanford still the program you like to emulate? Yes, it is. Uh, because uh, what they do up front with their guys, how they have the ability to run the ball and still get the ball downfield, how they use their tight ends. Um, you know, we, we, we're recruiting some, trying to recruit some guys in here to use in that manner. And then how they have the ability to still use their receivers too. Uh, it's a program that I've always admired from a distance uh, since Tyrone was there. I uh, always just felt like it, uh, you know, if, if I was building a program, I, I would want to build it in a similar manner. John, short of pulling a wizard wide and playing on defense, Rodney Stewart did a lot of stuff for your team on Saturday. Just talk about, I know you were looking for guys to do right. more. He seemed to be <laughs> was willing and able to do it. Uh, he, he played a lot of plays. He made uh, tackles on special teams. Um, he was returning kicks. Josh Hardigan played a lot. Doug Rippey played a lot. John Major played a bunch. I mean, there was a lot of starters that played a lot of plays. And, uh, you know, we, we're going to have to spell them some during the regular part of the game because we're not going to take them off of teams. I think our teams were dramatically improved. And we'll continue to work those guys and keep making that, uh, that area uh, more of a strength than it is uh, a weakness that it, that it has been. So. Uh, those guys, I handed to them, they stepped up and they wanted to play. And they went out there and it wasn't just lip service. They they did a good job on teams. Coach Beck, in regards to luck, you see this a lot of times in baseball with the pitcher going against another team's ace, the ability to kind of step up and really kind of accelerate the game to the top level that needs to be. Do 
you anticipate you're going to see that from Tyler this week? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I expect Tyler to play well. I do. Um, you know, Tyler, uh, he's our leader. You know, I, I, I love Tyler. Uh, I think he has a great grasp of the offense. I love his thought process and when he does certain things. And I think his teammates feel the same way about him. So I expect Tyler to, to play well. I do.